What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Good afternoon and welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Um, in which we're going to do an analysis on the Wing Finance or just Wing, that's the abbreviation, that's the name of the coin used in Wing Finance. Wing Finance is, is, is they, they themselves call themselves a, a lending protocol, but you can do more on, on, their, on their website. Check it out uh, if you think it's interesting. Um, have some corporations with Flamingo, which also had quite a big bull run, so that's great as well. Apart from that, I mean, it definitely does look like they're active and, and it lo looks good. I think they also have some, uh, yeah, they were in, in the Binance launch pool and, and yeah, there's definitely something to check out for it. For now though, we're going to take a look at the price because what happened with that is, is quite impressive too. And I have to be honest about this and um, you might not like that, but um, <clears throat> Uh, wing as of right now is really really unpredictable because you can see from from the price action it's just all over the place from eight dollars down to five then all the way up to 11 and 12 then all the way down to seven again then up to nine and a half it's just all over the place um so it, it's going to be quite hard to do a, a accurate prediction on this but we are definitely going to try and i'm going to try my best for you um <clears throat> the most important level for now and this will be more well yeah no uh, never mind but the most important level for now is this level here between this 0 0.5 fib and this 7.5 level uh first of all seven dollars and 7.5 both kind of psychological uh, key levels then apart from that you also got quite a strong key level around that just a a, a normal key level and you got that 0 0.5 fib uh, making it a little bit stronger that's the main level to look out for if we're actually able to stay above that level for the next few days, so then we would probably consolidate between $9 and $7.5. But if we're able to stay above that and keep closing above that with the candles, I think we're actually able to, to, to get, a, get towards $10 and $11 again. Um, I don't think we can get higher than this 11.5 level for now, for the next few weeks, and or at least for the next week, week and a half, I don't think that's possible. Um, but I do think we, we can actually have like a, a small second lag of the bull run as long as we stay above 7.5. It's the most important thing because I actually think it is more likely that we will not hold that 7.5, $7 level. Um, which means that, that I think it's more likely that we'll actually drop down and, and close below that. If that happens, I think we'll find support at around $6, 6.2. Um, but afterwards we will take a break retest off of that $7, $7.5 level. And uh, I think we're going to drop down all the way to this level around $5. Um, the specific level is from 5.2 all the way down to 4.5. So it's quite a big level, but I think uh, it's going to take that big of a fall to actually be able to consolidate and, and find some strength again to, uh, you know, maybe start to think about another uptrend. Uh, but I think a consolidation is a, is a little bit more likely. Um, so yeah, that's my full analysis. As I said, I have a slight bias towards this. Uh, scenario um, but the price could definitely prove me wrong and as I said it is very unpredictable so for now it's my analysis but if you do have any questions about it if you don't agree with uh, with me that's fine as well let me know down in the comments um, if you enjoyed this video you found it valuable please consider liking and subscribing it helps me out but for now thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos bye